Kahalai, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone of Ruel. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Back at you with another quick one. Um, just a, I guess, a reminder or a, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll call it a reminder. Um, but examine yourself. And of course, I am talking to me before I talk to anyone else. Examine yourself. And you know that there are times when you're in the spirit, you know how you feel. And there are times when you're low in the spirit and how you feel. If you pay attention and when you're low in the spirit, if you spend too much time low, we ought to be praying. <clears throat> there was something nagging at me for a couple of days. Like, you need to fast, you need to fast, you need to fast. And finally... Uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, I hearken. Um, but uh, you know when you're off. You know when, you know, scriptures tell you to search them real, you know. Actually, I want to get that before, we, before I read John. Um, search the. So we also, uh, this is something that we ought to be doing. Um, and I try to graduate to a point to where, hey, did I read? If I haven't read, did I at least listen to some videos, glean some knowledge, and then I hear something that I didn't understand, and I go back and look, or I go back and read that chapter. Um, we need to do better at, at whoever this is for. Do better at setting goals. Do better at um, hearkening unto the Spirit when it speaks, and do better at judging yourself. Um, because you know when something is off and you got to have that, that moment of honesty with yourself. I guess when you're riding home from work or, you know, if you're sitting around by yourself and you're lost in your thoughts and you know what needs to be done, do it. Because this thing is a fight. It has always been and will always be until the time you are changed. Acts 17 and 11, I'll just read it straight to the point. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Uh, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, right? Receiving the word with all readiness of mind. And as it goes to show, if you hear something from one of the men, you know, from one of the prophets, um, be ready to receive it. Of course, you need to go and study, go and look, go and research. Don't just be a parrot. Um, and, and that's how you, uh, you know, that's how the Spirit subs with you. Go look, go read, and try to find other precepts that may have not been mentioned. Right, and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Right, boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's get a couple of precepts on being a judge of yourself. Uh, again, I am talking to me because we do go off. This sinful flesh will have you going off, but you know the water to Yahweh Bashim Shai that uh, the Lord has sent His only begotten Son down, and He is now ascended unto the right hand of the Father, sending us the Holy Spirit that we may walk in sincerity and in truth and be able um, <clears throat> to judge ourselves lest, you know, the Lord come down and, and, and uh, or our sending angel to uh, get you right. So it's better you do, you know, you pray for the strength to get yourself right uh, because it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And we also need to have a healthy fear of the Lord that if you continuously uh, putting off the things that he's asking you to do, or should I say commanding you to do through the Spirit, uh, you should expect a, a visit somehow, some way. 1 John 3 and 19 in the NLT, our actions will show that we belong to the truth. So we will be confident when we stand before power. Even if we feel guilty, Yahweh, right? Our Savior, our Lord, He is greater than our feelings and He knows everything. So you should feel something, like you should, there should be some remorse. But we also ought to have confidence in the Lord knowing that um, when we repent, we're sincere about that repentance and we are doing our best to turn away from whatever it is that we need to turn away from or do whatever it is that we know that we should be doing. Dear friends, if we don't feel guilty, we can come to uh, Yahweh with bold confidence. And with that, it's um, you know, not letting your guilt get the better of you. So you should feel some remorse, but not to the point where 
um, you're thinking, oh, I can't say nothing to the Lord because I done did this. I can't pray and ask for forgiveness because this is the third time. All right, you're going to fall. Righteous men fall seven times. Right, That's a, That is roughly paraphrased. That is a condition of the battle. So, um, <clears throat> what else did I, let, wait, let me see what else is here. Even if we feel dear friends, if we don't feel guilty, and we receive from him whatever we ask. Yeah, we'll keep going. So, and we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey him and do the things that please him. So it is very important that we do what pleases him. And I always say, how do you find that? But you simply search the scriptures daily. You apply what you learn to your everyday life. Growing in knowledge, growing in understanding, going from glory to glory, getting better with each passing time, striving. We got Jeremiah 6, I think it was 6 and 11, so we'll get that. And again, this is not something that was always meant to be very long. Just, just, um, kind, kind of, uh, get you, get you going, get your, uh, Get your mind flowing, and if there was something that you know you felt that you were lacking in, that I pray that you're edified by this, and that you know you're energized, and the spirit comes upon you, and you can do whatever it is that you need to do that the Lord is commanding us, uh, commanding you to do. Uh, should we leave it in the NLT? Yeah, we'll leave it in the NLT. The point is in 16, but I'm gonna read from the from 11 just to kind of uh, grasp what's going on here. All right, so now I am filled with Yahweh's fury. Yes, I am tired of holding it in. I will pour out my fury on the children playing in the streets and, uh, and on the gathering of young men and on husbands and wives and on those who are old and gray. Their homes will be turned over to their enemies, as will their fields and their wives. For I will raise my powerful fist against the people of this land, saith Yahweh. From the least to the greatest, their lives are ruled by greed from prophet to priest, they are all frauds, right? And you can kind of liken this unto the two thirds of our people who um, I pretty much I turn anything into an idol, um, and they don't want to hear the true prophets. They want to hear Pastor Porkchop and the bullshit, bullshit. Hey, <laughs> that's the spirit pulpit saying, you know, you don't get that house and you don't get that car and everything going to be okay and blah, blah, blah. Uh, your time and your blessing and your this and your that. Never preaching a healthy fear of the Lord. Never talking about who their enemy is. Never talking about uh, with who their enemy is, how their enemy is going about trying to destroy them. They offer superficial treatment for my people. Mortal wounds, they give assurances of peace where there is no peace. Hey. Eh? Um, are they ashamed of their disgusting actions? Nope, not at all. There goes that humility I was speaking out just earlier. They don't even know how to blush. Therefore, they will lie among the slaughter. They will be brought down when I punish them, saith Yahweh. All right, so here's the point. This is what Yahweh says. Stop at the crossroads and look around and ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that is not the road we want. And that is not the road two thirds of our people want. Why? Because it calls for order. It calls for um, understanding who you are, what your responsibility is. And that means you have to put certain things away. Let's see what else can we glean. Um, we read Acts 17. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, um. Lamentations 3 and 40. How about that? Let's go. And we'll keep it uh, in the NLT. We'll start at 30, 37. Who can command things to happen without the Lord's permission? All right, so it would behoove you to fall in line with the omnipotent, all-knowing, all-powerful creator who chose his people of all the nations of the earth, right? He chose Israel. He chose you, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and those who may look like the other nations, but the scriptures are uh, reverberating and then they, they resonate with you. He 
he chose you. Now, of course, um, in this point in time, we are specifically speaking to the elect of Israel uh, who are slotted to be saved and that, and that, and that multitude uh, who are slotted to be saved, saved out of the coming calamity, right? And that calamity was with his permission. Does not the Most High send both calamity and good? Indeed he does, right? I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal, right? Then why should we mere humans complain when we are punished for our sins? Instead, let us test and examine our ways and let us turn back to Yahweh. Repent. Take a look at your life. Take a long, hard look at your life and see what the Lord requires from you by searching these scriptures. So the blueprint is laid out. We just need to act on it. And the flesh will fight you at every step of the way. Um, so do what you need to do to try and remain in the spirit as best you can. Because, of course, these chains of darkness, um, that's your fight. That is our fight. Let us lift our hearts and hands to God in heaven and say, we have sinned and rebelled and you have not forgiven us. Humility. A contrite and broken spirit. And hopefully I'm, um, you're picking up what I'm putting down here. Uh, that you may be led to repentance. Oh. All right, we'll get to... Uh, We'll get one more, 2 Corinthians 13, and then that'll be it. Again, this was just something that, a uh, little reminder, little remind, minor, minder. All right, let's pause for another advice. Uh, now, again, I want them and others, all right. I will give you all proof you want that Yahweh Shai speaks through me. Um, yeah, that's so verse 5, but we'll read 4. Um, because it, this is uh, uplifting Yahweh Shai, so we don't want to start at 4. Although he was crucified in weakness, he now lives by the power of uh, Yahweh. We too are weak, just as Yahweh uh, Shai was. Just as your Shai was. But when we deal with you, we will be alive with him. And we'll have God's power. So we'll, I guess, I guess that NLT is kind of weird. Especially with Paul's writing. Sometimes it, it can be hit or miss. KJV. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Okay. So the point is in verse 5. Um, and I memorize scriptures by KJV, not necessarily NLT. So we'll we'll put we'll just read it here with the KJV. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not you? Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates. All right, now let's read that in NLT. Examine yourself to see if your faith is genuine. Test yourself. Surely you know that Yahweh uh, is among you. If not, you have failed the test of genuine faith. As you test yourselves, I hope you will recognize that we have not failed the test of apostolic authority. Okay, so. Um, to, to bring it down onto a, a, a level as a um, not necessarily being an apostle but just just a believer or you know who preaches and teaches you have to examine yourself constantly and you know in your spirit you know in your heart when something's not right when you spent too long without repenting when you spent too long without praying when you have gone without reading your scriptures and you've gone without listening to a video or you kind of get occupied with everything else um be sure you examine yourself so with that being said shalom